Artemisia Gentileschi dared to imagine the world from a woman's point of view on the canvas. She took age-old stories, usually painted by men for men, and transformed them, turning meek maidservants into courageous conspirators and victims into survivors. After Artemisia was raped by another artist, Agostino Tassi, when she was just 17, a long and public trial ensued. While he was found guilty, Artemisia had to leave her home city of Rome behind, but it was then that her career really took off. Artemisia arrived in Florence in 1612, determined to make a name for herself. Almost as soon as she had arrived, she completed what is now her most famous composition, the iconic Judith Beheading Holofernes. So walking in here, nothing could have prepared me for how imposing and striking this image is to see. Just coming in and seeing the strength of those women, the sheer size of it, I wasn't expecting it to be so big. So Judith's city, Bethulia, is under siege by the Assyrian army. So in order to save her city, she sneaks out, goes into the Assyrian camp, goes to Holofernes' tent where she's left alone, plies him with alcohol, and when he's passed out, she cuts his head off with his own sword. The first thing that is just hits you in the face is obviously the amount of blood there is, whether that's the huge arcs that are coming out of Holofernes' neck or rolling down the side of the bed to the tiny, tiny flecks of blood that have landed on the women's arms and their dresses that I just don't think you'd be able to see if you weren't stood directly in front of it. Artemisia originally created this composition at the time of her trial. And so, of course, people read her own experience into it. They say that Holofernes is Agostino, and they say that Judith looks like Artemisia, and it's her getting her revenge on the canvas. But there's also the argument that reading her trauma and her experience into every one of her artworks is an entirely reductive way to look at it. There is a strength and a decisiveness within Judith's positions, the rolling up of the sleeves, and the fact that between the head and the body of the maidservant and her arm, you can see a triangle of her material. It suggests that she has her leg on top of Holofernes to hold him down. You can see in Holofernes' face the horror when he's woken up to this act being carried out on him. He is very deliberately in Artemisia's painting, turned towards the viewer so we can look at his expression as this act is being carried out on him. That, contrasting with the focus of the women on it, whilst he is fighting and writhing and reaching up towards the handmaid's face, is a really, really incredible thing to see. These women in such a display of power and strength, overpowering a man who was so much larger than them, it's in equal parts exciting and terrifying to look at.